Hi friends, we are here to discuss the SYBSC Microbiology syllabus as laid down by Savitribhai Phule, Pune University, Pune from the academic year 2020-21 with me, Prof. Girish Kukreja, Head Department of Microbiology at New Arts, Commerce and Science College, Ahmednagar. The course structure for semester 1 for microbiology includes two theory papers, one MB2 and one that is medical microbiology and immunology, MB2 and two bacterial physiology and fermentation technology. MB213 would be a practical course based on the above two theory courses. In this video, we will be talking about only the first course that is the medical microbiology and immunology. It is just an introduction to the contents of the syllabus. The course of medical microbiology starts with the definitions of some common terms which are used in medical microbiology. Some of the terms which are included are incubation period, the viability, the susceptibility, the pathogenicity, the virulence, the pathogenesis, the laboratory diagnosis, the epidemic, endemic, pandemic and sporadic. These terms will make us well versed with the terms which are commonly used in the medical microbiology. With this, we are now ready to enter into the next section of medical microbiology. With the knowledge of the earlier terms, we will now focus on the specific study of the pathogens. The next section, it includes the study of the various pathogens with respect to their various characteristics like the classification, Morphological, cultural and biochemical characters, the antigenic structure, the viability, pathogenicity, pathogenesis, symptoms, lab diagnosis, epidemiology, prophylaxis and chemotherapy. So thus it will give us a complete picture about a particular pathogen. Some of the representative pathogens for an introduction which we will be studying in this course in bacteria it includes Escherichia coli, a typical gram negative bacteria. Staphylococcus aureus, a typical gram-positive bacterium. We will be studying two fungi, that is the candida and dermatophytes. All these four will be studied with respect to all the characters which we mentioned earlier. Then after studying these diseases, we will be talking about their prevention and their control. So basically, we will be talking about the chemotherapy, the ways and means to treat these diseases. We will be talking about the selective toxicity of these agents, the bioavailability, the antagonism and synergism in the drug administration. Some technical terms which are commonly used to define the dosage of these medicines like the MIC, the minimum inhibitory concentration, the MBC, minimum bactericidal concentration and LD50 that is the lethal dose 50. We will also get introduced to a common problem worldwide today that is the concept of drug resistance. This we will do with specific reference to MRSA and ESVL. We will be also talking about the antibiotic sensitivity, the antibiotic misuse and overuse which is actually responsible for the earlier antibiotic resistance. With this we complete the course of medical microbiology. The second section includes immunology. So first we study the pathogen, the terminologies and how to cure them. Now we will be talking about the immune system which helps us to prevent us from these diseases, which helps us to resist us from these diseases. So the first section in immunology includes immunity. We will define the immunity. We will study its various types, the innate type, the acquired, the active and the passive. The humoral which is the antibody mediated and the cell mediated immunity. So we will get introduced to the immune system in general and its various types. Then we will be talking about the real players of these immune system that is the blood cells. We will study the process of the formation of these immune cells in the process of hematopoiesis. We will have an overview of the myeloid and the lymphoid lineages, the differentiation process and the various types of lymphocytes which are the real players of our immune system. Then we will enter into the world of antigens and antibodies. So we will be talking about the definition and the concept of these antigens which are the potent causative agents of various diseases and antibodies which are our preventive measures of our body. 
Then we will be talking about the immune hematology. We will be talking about the blood group antigens specifically here. We will be talking about the ABO and the RH blood group systems. The Bombay blood group type. The biochemistry of these blood group substances. How these are inherited. How a typical blood group is inherited. And the medical legal applications of these blood groups. With this we will enter into the process of immunization. We will be studying both active and passive immunization. In active immunization, we will be talking about the whole organism vaccine, which will include the attenuated vaccines and the inactivated vaccines. We will also focus on passive immunization, the transfer of the earlier or preformed antibodies. We will also have a look towards the latest immunization schedule, which is functional in India. So, with this, we conclude our medical microbiology and immunology syllabus of SEM1 of SYBSC microbiology. Stay tuned with us for more such videos comparing for more such videos including the structure of the syllabi and the detailed contents therein. Thank you.